Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, tonight I had a little bite to eat with a couple of ladies I knew. No, so I'm not cooking. This video is three low cost, but high protein meals and $5 stockpile. Okay, Jan from New York City had a good idea. Set aside $5 a week for your stockpile. And I thought, I'm just going to buy $5 a week worth of food for my stockpile. So I made, I have finally learned how to brew some good tea. Uh, it comes out, you know, you don't get that bitter taste to your tea. Uh, what I did is I had uh, one cup of cold water and I put uh, one tea bag and I had the family size in the water, the one cup water. Then I put two cups of boiling water on the top of the one cup with the tea bag, just like I made the mint tea. But I actually prefer my tea unsweetened. You cover it and you seep for 10 minutes. Then you take the tea bag out and you add one and a half cups water. So it's uh, four and a half cups water total. And, and it'll give you a nice clear tea. Did you ever wonder why, why when you go out, the tea is so delicious and then you make it at home? Well, they don't tell you how they make it. Okay, I have three low cost, high protein meals. So we wanna, you know, put this in the back of our minds and stockpile a little for the future. So the first one, this is really cheap. Hot dog taquitos. The way I do it is I roast my hot dogs in the oven in a little oil and I turn them, when they're done, I roll them in a corn tortilla and I fry them like in a regular taquito. And then I can have some lettuce, some tomatoes, and some salsa. And that gives you a really good meal. And the hot dogs are cheap and it's quick. Okay, the number two is tuna sandwich with lettuce and tomatoes. You know, um, I used to know these people, these wealthy people, and they had a tuna fish sandwich every single day of their lives for lunch. And they survived just fine. So number two is tuna fish sandwich. Okay, number three is egg and cheese sandwich. So I make that a lot of, at night. And I've been having that on my homemade biscuits. I just toast my homemade biscuits. I, I fry an egg with some cheese and sometimes some salsa. Okay, so I want to mention uh, foods to have on hand. Potatoes. I can get a bag of, five pound bag of good potatoes for less than $4. Rice and pasta. Okay, Italy is experiencing a spike in the pasta cost. But what I did several months ago, I thought if I ever have to eat pasta, I'm going to make sure I have good pasta. So if you have potatoes, rice, and pasta, you can always add a few meat and vegetables. So with potatoes, I could have uh, hot dogs and french fries with rice. I could have hot dogs with uh, rice. I get cooked rice with milk and sugar. And with pasta, I could make regular spaghetti and I could put hot dogs in it. Okay, with tuna, I could make um, tuna fish sandwich and french fries. Um, I could make uh, tuna, tuna and rice. You know, I could just make like some, um, I could put some rice and some peas and some tuna. And pasta, I could just make um, a tuna casserole. Okay, egg and cheese, I can make, if I have uh, potatoes and I have um, egg and cheese, I can make a hash. And the way I do it is I fry the potatoes and then I move the potatoes over and I fry the egg on the side and then I mix it all together and you can add green peppers if you have it and some cheese uh, with egg and rice. I can make a stir fry if I have vegetables and meat and with eggs and uh, pasta, I can make some um, pasta salad with boiled eggs and grated cheese with olives and even mixed vegetables. 
Okay, now I want to talk about the year-round garden. Okay, here is one of my plants. So what I did is I planted some plants just in, in so I could have this plant inside, but I have it in my uh, backyard. So I think this plant is about a month and a half old. So now I want to start a second round of plants and I'm just using seeds. You can use seeds out of your uh, food. So I want to learn how to do this year round garden because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. But one way to make sure you never go hungry is to make sure you're always growing a little food. Okay, now I want to talk about, okay, so I thought I'm going to buy a $5 stockpile today. So I did. All right. So here is the list of food I got at the uh, food bank that time. A large log of cheese, a bag of oranges. I thought I'll get some oranges two bottles of juice, a box of cereal, shelf-stable milk. I'll pick a couple of those up. Oatmeal, a large jar of peanut butter, a vegetable soup. Uh, the vegetable soup they gave us was really good. You didn't have to add water or anything. Two cans of pink salmon pears. I put a, a check by that one. A package of brown ice and spaghetti. So today when I was at Dollar Tree, they have these big packages. This is a 20 ounce package of uh, pasta. So I thought, uh, so $1.25, but I thought that's a good deal. And then I bought, these are good. You can put these, You can, if you're really hungry, you can put two in your bread and then add lettuce and tomato and that's gonna give you a huge meal. But these are only 2.5 and for like a dinner, you'd want five ounces, four or five ounces. Well, I bought those. So those were $1.25. Then I bought these because I mentioned to you that the uh, bakery goods at Walmart have gone from $3 to almost $5. So I got this for $1.25. And what I do is I mix it up. I put it in a pan and I put chocolate chips on top. And then I cut it in bars. You know, as soon as I take it out, and that gives me a good, a good, uh, a good little dessert. So, uh, okay, so that that is what I got for my five dollars. So I'm gonna do one of these a week because it's always kind of fun to see what you get off the other guy, what the other guy does. Okay, now I want to talk about some food that I keep on hand. So I used to buy these really cheap, but I, and so this is Jello. So I made one today. I made this with the speed method, and it's just the way I like it. It's not set really hard, and this is sugar free, so it's not an expensive dessert at all, and no calories. The other thing is, I like these puddings. I started doing this from watching Feature Man. And this one's butterscotch, and this one's tapioca, and one really hits the spot. For me, I'm not as likely to go cuckoo. Okay, and the third one is hot chocolate. And I, I saw these, so you know... You have it in your mind, okay, I like those puddings, I like the hot chocolate, you see it on sale, you grab one. The Jello, when they're like 39 cents, pick up 10, so you have Jello. Okay, so I am tracking my spending. And today I had to buy bird food, so what is this? $20. The birdies are eating $20 worth of food. But they, they have to have good food. They're my children. Okay, so I'm tracking my spending moving towards $0. And it, it, when you first start, you're just trying to get an awareness of how much you're spending. Okay, I want to talk to you about some food that has more, more than one use. Okay, number one... 
is uh, croutons. And so I eat a lot of soup and I put the croutons on the soup. But you can also use croutons on your salads. Or you can use them, on, you can grind them up and put them on top of stuff. And the other one are these, and the other thing is these onions. So when I see them cheap, because if you have these onions on your salad, or you can make green bean casserole or sprinkle them on stuff, these are really handy to uh, have. Okay, and then I have, um, Parmesan cheese, so you know you can use this on your spaghetti with olives if you don't have meat And then this is salsa and you can use this on your tacos, but you can also make a good salad with lettuce Parmesan cheese and salsa and you can eat your salsa on top of your um, On top of your um, Mexican food and you can sprinkle the the um, Parmesan cheese on on uh, frozen pizza. So those are nice to have around. Okay, and then I saw this one day. One was missing, and I had this. I got the ketchup and the relish. I thought, I will take this to eat on hot dogs, but also if you want to make coleslaw with mayonnaise, a sweet relish, and a little ketchup. So you see this. And you know, you can use your ketchup in your meatloaf. You can use your relish in your potato salad. So I grabbed that. So once you start learning this stuff, that's how you can save your money. Okay, now I use, I found the peanut butter for 99 cents and the honey, you know, for $1.25. But what this is also good for is granola mix making. You heat a uh, one quarter cup um, honey one quarter cup oil until it's almost boiling. Turn off the heat and you then you can add it to your uh, oatmeal and nuts and uh, dry fruit, or you can add to it after it's heated to the oil, one quarter cup oil and honey, and add a quarter cup peanut butter, and then you bake 300, and that's gonna give you a good um, granola but you can use this on your biscuits or your bread. And you can use this with peanut butter and jam or peanut butter cookies. Okay, I guess that does that. And then, you know, this is for, you can use, you know, I buy these at Dollar Tree. I pick up a couple every now and then for granola making, frying chicken, you know, anything. So that is that. All right, let me see if I have forgotten anything. Uh, this is really tasty if you haven't tried it. Dollar Tree. Uh, the croutons taste a little tastier than crackers sometimes, just depending. Okay. Uh, oh, I wanted to mention I put a, a bunch of nice stuff on my Twitter. I put a couple record albums, you know, the ones that I bought, the old hippie music, and I put the... Uh, the, the phone app for watching the movie Heat. And I wanted to mention the Mexican garden. So I think that's a squash plant. I'm not sure. But I'm trying to grow squash, peppers. You can grow cherry tomatoes years round and, and onions year round. So squash, peppers, tomatoes, and onions. Oh, and I wanted to mention, if you didn't see my video yesterday, you can get your sunglasses adjusted free at Walmart. I mean, why wear them all year long, all tweaked out? They'll, they'll, um, they're really nice about it at the Walmart I go to. Um, all right, now, one more thing and then I'm done. Okay, uh, you know, you mentioned, and I mentioned that in North Korea, some of the people were literally starving. And um, I thought, you know, you have to grow food. I remember, um, it's better if you practice before the fact, but once you can get food in your house, it's really gonna help. But I remember uh, one of the churches I went to, they tried to teach the people how to plant seeds and grow food from the seed, and they just could not do it. They had to take plants already um, already sprouted. So one of the key things 
why I'm starting is to learn how to sprout. Now, I had good dirt because I didn't pay for dirt. I just went up. I have a mountain behind my house, and I got the dirt out of the mountain, and I just put the seeds in there, and I managed to grow um, grow seeds, you know, from seeds. But I had good dirt. And then the other thing is I thought I was going to save uh, $15, you know, for a little extra money for gas, for bird food, for toilet paper. But the toilet paper is costing me $11 and uh, gas is costing me $30 a week now. So I have decided to set aside $20 a week. And that's not counting the $5 for the food. Okay, um, then I'm doing this thing, survive on $50 a week. Okay, so once you, and that's not counting your rent and your gas and electric, that's just counting at the beginning of, we used to call it petty cash. In the salons, we would start the day with a, a cash drawer of $50. But back when fifty dollars is a whole lot um, was a whole lot more money than it is now. But what I on this um, you know this budgeting, I want to just take out for the week fifty dollars, and then eventually you know I don't really need anything. I want to work down to zero dollars, and if possible, I would like to go from one year to the next without spending any money. So I don't know if I can do it, but you guys will be the first to know. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and, and subscribe, and God bless you all.